By the way, you've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's a dragon fish. A dragon fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. Wait, then why didn't you get one? In the Yakuza business, a dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. A fresh-faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow, that's for real? Well, I guess a dragonfish is pretty cool too. Right? I'm into it. Someday I want to earn my place. And then my dragonfish is gonna shine even brighter than a dragon. <laughs> Dreaming big, huh? In that case, maybe I ought to start by finding a job. Yeah. Sorry, little dragonfish. Mm. What's he got in front of him? A shogi board? Is he playing shogi outdoors? Huh. Maybe I should challenge him sometime. Last time I caught a bug was back when I was a kid. Never know when you might need a bug on your side. I'll keep it. <laughs> on this little guy. It's all gold, like pirate treasure. Bet he's super rare, too. I wish I could show him off to someone. Damn key. Uh. I need a damn key. Let's do it! Okay. 
have fun with this. I got this. Watch this. Hell yeah!
文句あるのかやめるなおっとおくおくおくおくおくおくおくおくおくおくおくおくおくおくおくThere'd be so many people. Young ones, too. How old are you? 42. What about you? 41, if I remember right. Damn, that makes me feel old. Hey, age ain't nothing but a number. We got something better. Passion. Oh, passion, sure. I'm sure that you are ready to work. You know what, these other losers? <sighs> Not so, son. I can smell the liquor on you. To be considered for a placement being sober is mandatory. Please come back when you're ready. Bitch. Like I'll ever come here again. Next, please. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready and able. You left your current residence blank. Because I don't have one right now. But I'm committed to working. And I don't drink, by the way. Well, normally you need an address, but... I think we can make an exception. So, I'm hired? Just write the address of where you grew up. Oh, but... Uh, I don't have an address for that either, actually. Have you always lived on the streets? I'd like to refer you to our support center, then. What's that? It's where you can get a checkup and some basic computer skills. But wait, I don't need all that stuff. I just need a job. Sorry, but that's our policy for people with a background like yours. Please, ma'am. I'll work really hard. I'm sorry. That's our policy, sir. Next, please. Wait, hold on a minute. I need to... Hey, out of the way. So, did your passion win them over? Shut up. They didn't like me either. For a hobo, when God closes a door, he closes a window while he's at it. <laughs> well, fellas, we tried, right? Any other losers want to go and get a drink? Drown our sorrows? We're not losers. We're gonna try something else. Ah, uh, oh, don't fool yourself. I can tell you're homeless like me. This was such a waste of time. I could have been doing something productive, like fishing. Don't get salty yet. We can figure this out. Hey. Either of you guys looking for work? Yeah. Tried at the desk. They don't give jobs to the homeless. Tough break. So I assume you're still looking, right? Yep. I think we gotta try to look less unemployable. You don't look so unemployable to me. <laughs> Heck, you're wearing a suit. 
<laughs> a filthy one. But hey, thanks for noticing. You're a man of taste. So you guys interested in doing some work tonight? Huh? I'm not the one hiring. But there's this bar on the other side of the Sakura River. It's called the Harbor Light. The mama there needs a job done by a couple of guys tonight. What's the job? Bartending? I don't know what it is, but I know it pays 5,000 yen. Pretty good money, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Wanna check it out, Kasuga? Sure. Hey, thanks, old man. Sir, that's not following standard procedure. Hmm? Don't know what you're talking about. I saw you. That's a violation, you know. Oh, but, you know, not everything is so black and white. I'm just filling a gap in the market. <sighs> you are a loose cannon, Director.
Excuse me. We were told about this joint by an old guy hanging around Hello Work. Huh? Hello Work? Oh yeah, that was my doing. Told Kambe over there to recruit a couple of guards. Hamako-san, don't do things like that without asking me. I'm not made of money. 5,000 yen for a man to risk his life is a hell of a deal. I'm just amazed Kambe found two guys who took it. Hey, wait a second. We never said anything about risking our lives. What is this job exactly? I'll explain everything. Come over here, boys. You see all these restaurants on the river? They're all bars, just like ours. We've all been getting hit by thieves for decades now. Burglars? Nope. These thieves don't steal physical items or money. They steal electricity. What? How do they do that? Look over there at those wires. Those aren't public electric lines. The thieves strung those up ages ago. Do you know who they are? Wait, I've heard about this. Shit, it's the Komi Jewel. Uh, what's the Komi Jewel again? They're one of the Ejin Three, the Korean Mafia. Mm. And didn't you say how they got their name earlier? Yeah, it's not their official name. It's the neighborhood where they're headquartered. Well, it's still kind of hard to say, if you ask me, but I guess I see how they got it. Mm-hmm. They've been jacking our electricity for such a long time. I'm sick of them getting away with it. Each month it costs the bars here tens of thousands of yen. Each and every bar is forced to pick up the tab, and they don't reimburse us. Here's a solution. Why not just call the police? I mean, seems obvious. Tell the cops exactly who's robbing you. They'd leap at the chance to take down a crime faction. I'm sure she has a good reason for not calling it in. Am I right? Of course. Whatever the reason, this kind of stuff is why we have cops. The police wouldn't touch Komichu with a ten-foot pole. The area is too dangerous, even for them. I mean, how dangerous are we really talking? <laughs> you don't come back alive is how we're talking. <laughs> you gotta be exaggerating. I wish I was. Everyone who gets close to their HQ disappears. Everybody. Yakuza, police, doesn't matter. Not even the other Ejin gangs are willing to go there now. The place is a graveyard. Okay, well... Do you know anyone in the Kumi Jewel? Of course not. Thank goodness. Well, then we'll have to find one of them while he's away from HQ. They gotta leave sometime. No, you can't tell them apart from civilians. They don't exactly wear freaking pins on their lapels like you Yakuza. There's no way to recognize them. Out of the Ejin 3, they're the most secretive by far. Okay, if there are no other options, then it's back to the original idea. We just go to their HQ. Again, that's suicide. You want another idea? I got one. Cut your power, Grams. I can't do that, and I shouldn't have to. People's livelihoods are at stake. Come on, there's gotta be something we can do. Ichiban, let's forget this. Seriously, we don't need money that bad. Hey, crazy idea, but why not just cut the damn cord? Long as you know which one to cut. Don't be an idiot. He's not. I had the exact same idea. I cut their line yesterday. What? You got a screw loose, lady? I, I, I didn't like the idea. I tried to stop her. Yeah, I felt bad afterwards. Mama was crying, worrying about how they would retaliate. Oh, we've been arguing about doing it for so long. Yesterday? I strolled on up and yanked it out of there. Just left it lying in the dirt. <laughs> I guess I've hit that age where you stop caring. That's not an excuse. What happens now? Well, that's what I hired you guys to figure out. You can't be serious. Okay, so you cut the cord yesterday. Anything happened since then? When Mama showed up to open the bar this morning, this was on the floor. Someone threw it through the window. Fix the cable by tonight. So they want you to connect it again. What'll happen if you just... 
don't. You think their message might be an empty threat? The thing is, if it's not, we won't know they're attacking until the last moment. Because we don't know what they look like. Plus, no way is it an empty threat. Look, lady. I get how your bar must be very important to you, and you don't want to close it. But this is insane. Oh, now this isn't even my bar. I'm just the barfly who buzzes around here the most. I wanted guards because I'm worried about Mama here. What? So you don't even have real skin in the game? You should start minding your own business. Which is what I'm gonna do. I'm leaving. Good. Who needs a coward as a guard anyway? Get on out of here if you're gonna cry about it. Fine. Wish I could say it's been nice. Kasuga, let's go. I'm so sorry for all the trouble. Please forgive us. Hey, what are you gonna do for protection? I'll get their power cable hooked back up. Then if they're still angry, I'll offer them money not to bother us. I can take out a loan. What? That's ridiculous. We can't let them do this to you. You be quiet. It's your fault in the first place. Stop. She's right. We can't let them get away with this. What now? Paying off criminals just makes the whole world a worse place. <laughs> the job still pays 5,000 yen? Yeah. I knew that's all Mama could afford. I don't have more. It's fine. I'm in. Hold on, man. It's too risky. Beggars can't be choosers, you said. And honestly, I prefer a job where I get to help somebody out. See? Now that's the right attitude. I could tell you were a good guy. Unlike some people. <sighs> you old battle axe. Are you sure about this? Yeah. I always mean what I say. We'll take the job. Wait a damn minute. We? You're roping me into this? Look, if you're not in, don't let the door hit you on the way out. This brave man has a job to do. Ugh. Do you know how obnoxious you are? Fine, I'll do it. Is everybody happy now? Good, so it's settled. There you go, Mama. I got you two guards. Now how about rustling up a drink for me? Setup is creepy as hell. Looks like tentacles. Why do they need so much electricity anyway? I have no idea. Whoa, easy, Tiger. You trying to get wasted? Dude, we're risking our lives for a measly 5,000 yen. Chill out, man. We're probably not gonna die. Probably, so. Well, I'm glad one of us is taking this seriously. It's hitting me for the first time how spooky the Komijo are, hiding their faces. But then again, they've also stayed hidden in their headquarters for freaking decades now. I don't see them coming out to this bar, not for one power cable. So you think the note was an empty threat? I think they assumed we'd obey. They know people are terrified of them. They know that for damn sure. Most people would have done whatever was written on that cinder block, no question. The Komichu must have believed that too. I doubt they actually plan to show up tonight and break kneecaps or something. But what'll happen when they check the cable and see that they didn't scare us into doing it? I mean, maybe they'll just throw another brick or whatever. Then what happens after that? We basically decided we're never hooking it back up, right? How long are they gonna let that slide? Well, if that's the logic, what are we still doing here? Let's walk away. Let's just tell these women it was an empty threat and get out of here. I can hear you over there. Damn, she has good ears for an old bat. Quiet. What is it? There's someone out there. I don't see anyone. I swear, I saw... Whoa!
<laughs> You're making us jumpy for no reason, man. Good evening. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Namba, that's the guy who was at Hello Work. Sure is. Guess he's here to spend money while he's unemployed. Typical, isn't it? I'll send you! Hey! Hey, wait! Leave me the fuck alone! Why'd you attack us? I was hired to! Some guy said they paid me a million yen to wreck that bar! Were they Korean Mafia? They were, weren't they? I don't know! I'd never seen them before. They just came up to me in the park. I, I was drinking and minding my own business, but hey, I wasn't about to turn down an easy mill. And you? Don't even think about getting between me and that money. The battle is on. Cool. your name? I saw you in line at Hello Work. I remember what it was. Matsuo, right? <laughs> What's it to you? Listen, buddy. You didn't really think they'd give you a million yen, did you? Just for trashing a place? You think they were scamming me? Do you expect anything else from the Korean Mafia? You do know that's who hired you, right? <laughs> yeah? Makes you say that. They're the only ones who would want that bar messed up in the first place. Look, we're trying to help you. There's no way in hell they're gonna pay a million to some drunk bum. <laughs> like you're an expert. Hey, what did he look like? The guy who asked you to do this. Did you see his face? Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. Come on, we're not fucking around. Cut it out, Namba. If you really want to know, Ask the bitch. Bitch? Wait! Ichiban, don't chase him! Stop! They'll kill you if you go on their turf! Did you see that? He was smiling. Yeah. I'm starting to think he wasn't hired by the Gomi Jewel. No way. He was a member. Shit. This is going from bad to worse. I'm still stuck on the bitch thing. You think there's a woman in the Komi Jewel? How would I know? Anyone could be a bitch these days. Hey, look! Run! Sitting ducks. What are we gonna do? Okay. It's all or nothing. Hey! Call me Jewel! Hey, what are you doing? It doesn't matter to me one bit if that guy was one of your own or just a clueless bum! But you have him back now! Then why not let us go? And you won't have our bodies to dispose of! What you and I both know is a huge pain in the ass! Would you stop? By the way, 
You know your little power cable? We cut it because it was like tying a noose around that poor bar's neck. If you hang them with it and they close down, you won't be getting that power anyway. So you need to give it up. You're the one who needs to give up. Look, you guys are real ass mafia, right? You shouldn't be doing small time shit like stealing electricity. So cut it out. Fine. I don't care anymore. We're dead. Are you satisfied? What? No way. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, guys. Hey, we're good here. Come on. Is this guy for real? Hold on. Huh? Hi. Hmm. Ah no. Huh? What's up? Listen up. Sup? I don't think so. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Not a loser! Yeah. You're in oh, yeah. Yeah. You wanna fight? <laughs> Let's do it! Cool! 
Okay. Watch this. Have fun with this. Let's go. Hey.
you here. Morning, ma'am. Get up. We're closing for a few hours. Tell everyone up there to leave. What time is it? Let me sleep a bit more, Hamako-san. I'm having the place clean. I need everyone out till tonight. How many customers did you get yesterday? I don't know, at least five. Where were you? I'm exhausted. Small restaurant, huh? <laughs> they cater to a very specific appetite. Damn, it's too damp to even dust this thing. Hey, Jiban. Can you deal with these tissues? You do it. It's your job. Bodily fluids really aren't my thing. Cut me some slack. You want to get paid or not? Would you rather say broke and homeless? No, but it doesn't mean I don't have standards. <sighs> don't be a diva. all the ragged. Oh, you don't know them? It's Bleach Japan. Prostitution's got to go! Leave now! Get out of Eijin Cho! What's Bleach Japan? It's a non-profit group. What you'd call an NPO. Been around 15 years. Their slogan is, Bleaching the Gray Zone's White. You know how some things fall into the gray area, neither black nor white? Like things that are technically illegal, but cops look the other way because they're victimless crimes. They don't like that. They want to crack down on all crime, whether it hurts someone or not. They want to bleach the gray so that it's white. This town is just full of metaphors, huh? The group's active all over the country now. Makes sense, considering their founder is Ryo Aoki. And that is... Uh, he's the governor of Tokyo? Oh, the one that was cleaning up the city. With that, uh... Comrocho 3K plan. Wow, you actually got one right. Well, that plan made Aoki real popular. The media adored him before he was governor. But they love him even more now. He resigned from Bleach Japan when he went into politics. But he still sings their praises. The young voters eat it up. Okay, but why are they protesting right outside this building? This establishment here is registered as a restaurant, but you won't find a speck of food on the second floor. If you're lucky, a waitress might bring you some tea. Of course, you don't pay for that tea, you pay for something else. Let's just call it what it is, a brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. This is crime, pure and simple, happening right out in the open for decades now. The women who work here have been brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. And once they're in, they can't get out. We demand an end to this human tragedy. We demand it! Oh, shut up, you whiners. These women are just working hard at their jobs. So working hard excuses a crime? You could learn from them. What right do you have to tell anyone how to live? And why be so dishonest? Registering yourselves as a restaurant? I'll tell you why. It's because the truth is so terrible! No. It's because grown-ups do things they don't want to, to protect people. 
The only people you're protecting are your loan officer and your debt collectors! You ass! You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents. Some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. Did you hear that? Not only are they criminals, they're raising children! How can those children turn out normal? At best, they'll grow up hating their completely unfit parents! They are good parents. They keep their children happy and healthy, and that's what truly matters. Show me one, then. Show me a child who's happy being raised by a whore! You aren't even trying to understand. You're just being an asshole. Leave us alone! There aren't any happy kids like that, are there? No child wants a prostitute for a mother! I never minded it! Huh? <laughs> you all came here because you want to get rid of the trash. I got that right? Well, here it is! Get ready to catch! Wait, hold on. Wouldn't that be the... Take this! Hmm. Not bad, Ichiban. Up. Hmm? True. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Hey. Soka. <laughs> oh. Not a loser. Yeah. Uh, how can an old guy be so strong? 
Whatever. I'll see you around, Grandpa! You kids have a lot of spunk. Why don't you use it to help your parents for once? I never thought Bleach Japan would resort to this type of thing. Bunch of dreamers. They really think they can bleach the Grey Zones? Come on. <laughs> they swagger around like they've got some noble purpose. But all they really want are donations. And let's face it. What they're doing is just plain bully. <sighs> Whatever happened to good manners? Yeah, well... It's pretty late now. Let's go home. Sure. Sorry you had to rescue me twice. Don't sweat it. Call us if you need cleaners again. Hold on a minute. Hmm? You two are homeless, right? Yeah. Well, here's a proposition. What if you just lived here, in one of the rooms upstairs? What? Huh? Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help. Do you even have a room to spare? Don't the girls need them to work in? Well, I'm not making the offer out of complete self. If you live here, you get something called a right of residence, which would benefit me. What's a right of residence? It means that you can legally assert that you have the right to live somewhere. I don't get it. How would that benefit you? Well, I live in a different building. This is my business, but since I don't live here, I don't get that right of residence. I think I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm leasing this building, you see? And if Bleach Japan really wants to get us evicted, they might pressure the owner of the property. Wouldn't put it past them. But if someone here has right of residence, we can fight back. Once you have that right, the owner can't just evict you for no reason. Oh, so us living in the place would be a line of defense for you. Exactly. You get it. Sounds like a great deal. But you don't mind a couple buns living here? Well, you two are really my only choice of renters. The women who work here aren't citizens. So I can't enter into a lease contract with them. But boys, that's not the only reason I'm making this offer. I'm impressed with what you two did. Sounds good to me. I don't mind being your live-in security guard. Oh, wonderful. Just promise you won't break the lease. I want your eyes on my shop for a long time. Until Bleach Japan finds someone else to bother. You got it. Thanks a lot. Yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Look, Ichiban. 